What's going on guys, Anthony from Chronometer Check. Today we're talking Seiko SKX and we're talking Seiko 5 Sports Diver and seeing which one is better. First things first, wrist check. Yet again, I'm wearing my Seiko SKX 009. I absolutely love it. I actually did a little bit of a modi mod to it. So I actually bleached the bezel. I think it makes it kind of super chill and casual and it has some beachy vibes. Threw it on a million A's mesh bracelet and I think it uh, kind of resembles the Seiko 5 Sport line a little bit. I was kind of inspired as you can see. So like I mentioned in yesterday's video, the new Seiko 5 Sports Divers aren't exactly a complete replacement for the SKX. So first of all, the SKX is a professional ISO certified dive watch. It's You can literally wear this diving professionally. The Seiko 5 Sports instead is actually only 100 meter water resistant instead of the SKX 200 meters water resistant and it no longer is an ISO certified dive watch. Now, I don't know how many of you are really diving with your SKX on the regular anyway, uh, but this also has some implications about sort of the overall toughness and durability about the watch because basically to be an ISO certified watch, you need to meet some certain specifications. And this includes things like shock resistance, magnetic resistance, etc. So this could potentially mean that the Seiko 5 Sports Diver might be a little bit less of like an indestructible beast that the SKX currently is. And piling onto that, the new Seiko 5 Sports Diver actually don't have a screw down crown. So I don't know if this contributes to the lack of water resistance, having 100 meter water resistance versus 200 on the SKX. The SKX does have a screw down crown. It definitely helps prevent water getting in there it just makes it more robust you know in case of any accidental also apparently there are still misaligned chapter ring issues come on seiko really this is definitely a uh, skx predecessor and another thing that kind of bums me out is it's still using a hard lex crystal now hard lex in case you don't know is seiko's kind of proprietary Seiko's proprietary mineral crystal. It is much better than a regular mineral or acrylic crystal, definitely way better. So it's not comparable to those, but it's not Sapphire. I feel like at this price point, it retails between $285 and $360. At that price point, we need Sapphire because I mean, the, the entry level Orient divers now, they're starting to implement Sapphire into their sort of cheaper, like two, 250-ish divers. So I feel like Seiko kind of has to at this point uh, in this price range, and it's a little bit disappointing that they're not. But it's not all bad because there are definitely a couple of improvements that make the watch better in some aspects. The main thing and the biggest upgrade for me is the new 4R36 movement. Well, it's not new, but new to, you know, it's, the Seiko just uses a 7S26 movement, which in case you don't know, is basically Seiko's lowest entry level movement. And it's great in its own right, right? It's super robust, durable. It can keep going for like, you know, 10 plus years without ever needing a service and for a mechanical watch, that's pretty awesome. But at this point, kind of like the sap, not having Sapphire Crystal anymore, not having ha features like hacking and hand whiting is a little bit outdated at this point. Like you kind of need it. Yeah, so at least they improved that with these new Seiko 5 Sports Divers, so that's pretty awesome. Another thing that's pretty cool is the variety of different designs and colors. Some people might love them, some people might hate them, but there's just so many. It's like there's gonna be one that kind of speaks to you probably, and it's definitely a good way to get new people into the hobby. They might see, ooh, rose gold, I never saw that before. So at least they're experimenting, trying different case designs, case colors, things like that. And of course with that, it's cool that we get to see some new bracelet and strap options as well. We do have Milanese bracelets, we have NATOs, you know, we have a alligator embossed, I don't know if it's rubber or leather, but anyway. And also an oyster bracelet, so no more Jubilee this time. So that's kind of interesting, so if you do have a, uh, SKX with a Jubilee, hang on to that thing. A little design feature that they implemented is applied markers for the hour markers instead of just painted on loom. I think it just makes it look a little neater. I do really, really like the look of my SKX with just the painted markers. Uh, it's very unique and kind of very tooly and it's just not pretentious at all. It's super legible. It's like exactly what you need it to do without trying to be Oh, I'm so pretty. I'm such a pretty watch, but it, it actually is a pretty watch, especially with my bezel. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, it's kind of neat. I like that. I've definitely considered modding an SKX with a different dial that has applied markers. So just the fact that they're having that right off the bat, it's kind of nice. And one thing that kind of bothers me, this is neither like a pro or a con. Well, I guess for me, it's a con, but I guess it's up to personal taste. The text at the bottom. So on the SKX, it actually says 200 meters, that's obviously the water resistance, but on these Seiko 5 Sports Divers, it'll just say automatic. But what really bothers me the most is the font they chose. It's in script. This type of font belongs more on a dress watch. Like I'm pretty sure it's almost very similar, if not the same 
as the font they have on the Seiko Sarb series, which is their more dressy style of watches. I don't really like it on this watch. It's fine, whatever. Not the end of the world, but yeah. The dimensions are pretty much spot on. It's going to be about 42.5 millimeters in diameter, about 13 and a half in thickness. Oh, 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 good news, good news, good news. Good news, great news. I love this news. We actually are going to have see-through Harlex case backs. So uh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if this actually also contributed to the lack of water resistance because a see-through case back can theoretically be a little bit less sort of structurally sound than a stainless steel case back because potentially the crystal could crack and you know water could get in that way obviously but so stainless steel case backs are definitely a little bit more durable and robust and tend to be a little bit more waterproof but I love see-through case backs so even if it's a 4R36 movement you know it's not the most beautiful movement in the world it's not a Patek we're talking about but still I'm super happy about that I just love looking at the little gears yeah so to wrap it up the SKX is still going to be an awesome dive watch if you already own one or you want to pick one up soon maybe before they get discontinued if they get discontinued I'm not sure don't quote me on that not an official source saying they're getting discontinued but if they are anyway you're not going to be disappointed if you pick one up i mean props to seiko for actually trying new things trying different case designs case colors uh, different dials and stuff like that instead of just they could absolutely just give us the same watch with an upgraded movement uh, maybe sapphire crystal and let's be real i would definitely buy it for you know three maybe less than $400, as I'm sure many other people would not a problem. I would just eat it up. I might buy a gazillion of them. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support you've been giving me. Every single comment motivates me and fuels me. I love learning more about your guys' interests. I kind of feel like I know a couple of you in a weird way, uh, just through the comments going back and forth. And I kind of feel like I know I'm starting to learn like your individual tastes and what you like and watches what you don't. So it's cool. It's like we're building a little bit of a community. So I appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. Say what's up. I respond to every single comment. I'll put my Instagram as well. You can see more watch pictures. I'll have some more up about this baby, the faded bezel SKX009. And subscribe for more content in the future. I will have much more about these watches. I'm going to pick up at least one, maybe two, maybe a hundred. I don't know. That's about it. <laughs>